after observing election of congressman at small county, I came back to my office. I met two customers who want to do paddleboard. They already have experienced surfing two times, but the wave is not good for surfing. So they decided to do stand up paddleboard. But it was first time for them to do stand up paddleboard. So I suggest I will I would teach them and went together with them. So I gave a short lesson about how to paddle on the shop and using paddles. After lesson, we got ready to go out, go to the sea, and then with the pin, leash, and paddles, we brought the stop to the beach side. The wind blew from southwest. We turned thoughts over on the sand and I explained it about the wind direction. So why should you paddle against the wind? The reason why. If we follow the wind direction, it's difficult to come back. But if we paddle to against the wind, and when we come back, it's very easy. So after explaining, we paddle to the port side, deck side, and then paddle while the paddling, and then One of the customer fell down into the water and first time to jump on the board or swim on the board is not easy. So when he struggled uh, jumping on, I told him first thing then he put the paddle on the deck of sub and then uh, swim to make legs floating and then kicking with the legs and then he could jump on the support while lying head down and then he recovered and we paddled to the in front of the yellow house in high at the high tide we practiced the running direction and kneeling position and how to send some practice after then i led them to the near the deck side and then after they tried to stand on the sub, I came back.
And then I got a lesson with the Mr. Ali and Mr. Uh, Ali from Indonesia. So I learned I learned Bahasa Indonesia with him. And when uh, when uh, I finished the uh, lesson, I came out to see uh, the paddlers uh, coming. And then I watched it. Uh, they stayed uh, near the shoreline. Mm. So the wind was not there. Wind didn't blow anymore. It was very calm, but uh, no sunset because a little bit cloudy. And when I came to the, my shop and then several, maybe 10, 20 minutes later, they came back. And one of them said to me, if they could not train uh, at a lesson, uh, it might uh, get very dangerous because uh, they paddle to the over the port uh, near the rock zone when high tide. So when I heard, when I heard, uh, they had uh, been there, I was surprised because uh, it was, uh, it could be dangerous as the beginners and then current very strong. Also the time is uh, in the evening. Uh, what if, if they lost their battle or the board and then falling down to the strong currents? So if I yeah, imagine that situation, a really serious uh, problems. Even though I told them after practicing, followed uh, around the beach and paddle to come back. And I didn't know why they decided to go over the port and then did some adventures to the water. Still wonder, but something happened or anything happened. It's possible. Unexpected safety. So to keep rules is very important for safety. Maybe I think more seriously about this situation and then knowing about the rules and yes, um, we should get the rules about what to do and then planning or not to do uh, is really important. Maybe I need to pre prepare about the safety rules, what the plan will be do as a trainer, as a beginners. And so, and then make them safe is very important. <laughs>